Hi guys, I'm Sasha Wood, here to tell you about science fiction becoming science fact on I.O. Before we get started, I want to hear from you guys. What recent scientific advances have really impressed you? Let me know in the comments below. Well, for those of you who are keeping up with science, particularly in the medical realm, you'll have heard the name Dr. Canavero. He is gearing up to perform the first human head transplant in China in 2017. His patient is a man by the name of Valery Spiridonov, a man suffering from Wernig Hoffman disease. This is a form of muscular degeneration, which means that it is rendering his body slowly useless and that he will die in a few years. Labeled as a mad scientist by many, Canavero has been facing much opposition and skepticism from the rest of the medical community. One of the many criticisms is that there are no peer reviewed journals or articles about successful head transplants being performed on any creature, even an animal. Well, Canavero has a rebuttal for those doubters in the form of a head transplant performed on a monkey in China. This procedure was performed at the University of Harbin Medical and used the Gemini method. The Gemini method involves cooling the head and removing it from the body. The donor body is then prepared as all cords and arteries must be severed at the same time. Next, a polyethylene glycol glue is used to connect the spinal cord. Next, the muscles, trachea, and esophagus are stitched together. Finally, a plastic surgeon sews the creation together with new skin. The doctors who performed this procedure hailed the operation as a success, as afterwards when they examined the monkey that did indeed live, they found that it had no significant neurological problems. However, and this is a big however, the animal in question was only allowed to live for 20 hours. After that point, the doctors decided that they had to put it down for ethical reasons. Also in this operation, no attempt was made to bridge the spinal column. Many are also incorrectly hailing this as the first monkey head transplant, and that is not the case. This is a recreation of another medical experiment performed by Dr. Robert White in 1970. The American neurosurgeon also hailed his operation as success because the monkey lived, however this monkey was also paralyzed. White was labeled as a madman, we'll see what people have to say about Canavero who has already announced that this operation proves that his head transplant will also be successful, and his doubters have this to say. This study has also not been peer reviewed. There are still also many questions as to how Canavero plans to bridge the spinal gap and whether or not the new donor body will reject the head or if this man will just have to live the rest of his life on anti-rejection medication. Canavero claims that he can bridge this gap with a peg and that this is the next frontier in medicine, that we should just embrace it and that we don't need to be bound by what nature wants to do to us. I am a firm skeptic until I see this done, however Valerie, his volunteer, is gung ho for this because he claims that every Every day he is just feeling his body fail a bit more and that nothing could be worse than that. Do you guys feel that this monkey head transplant was a success or do you feel that Canavero is jumping the gun a little or a lot? Let me know down there in the comments below. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching IO, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. More videos over there for you to check out, links down below for more details and everything we spoke about and I'll catch you next time, bye bye.